Name the type of reaction represented by Roman figure one. That is esterification. So we have esterification for 4.1.1. So why are we saying that uh, that reaction is esterification, right? So we are told that in reaction one, alcohol P, so we have alcohol P, reacts with another organic compound in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid, right? And then um, the result we have is this compound R, right? If you look at compound R, you will realize uh, by the functional group here yeah, that compound R, it's an ester, right? So reaction, uh, Roman figure one is a starification. And then in 4.1.2, the equation is saying that uh, besides uh, the presence of a catalyst, write down another reaction condition uh, for reaction one. So in a starification, we need concentrated H2SO4 and mild heat for the reaction to take place, right? Mild uh heat right if you've done this experiment in school you will remember that you had to indirectly heat the substances first before the reaction could take place and you would start wafting right so that is 4.1.2 let's move to 4.1.3 so 4.1.3 saying that let's write down the structural formula of alcohol p right so for our reaction to take place a starification that is we need the alcohol p to be a primary alcohol right so we have um the ester here which is compound r so how do we know how many number of carbons were in our alcohol this is what you do so you, if when you have the ester molecule like this you come here and you put a line uh, between the oxygen and the carbon atom right so when you have done that the part with a double bond comes from uh, the acid. So this part here comes from the acid. And then the other part is coming from uh, the alcohol, right? So we can now see that uh, the alcohol has one, two, three uh, carbons, right? So it means that uh, 4.1.3, uh, we have propanol right so that's the alcohol that was used but the, the question is asking from the structural formula and not the IUPAC name right so how do we draw a uh, propanol so we're gonna have one two three carbons uh, we place OH here and then we fill out uh, the hydrogens everywhere else right so we're supposed to put the hydrogens here and we are essentially done right that is the structure of uh, the alcohol that is used alcohol p right and then moving forward we have 4.1.4 so 4.1.4 is in let's write down the IUPAC name of compound r so we've already established that compound r is an ester right so this is how you name an ester the first part of the name comes from the alcohol and then the second part of the name comes from the acid since we're saying that the alcohol uses propanol then the name of the ester is going to start by propyne propyne right and then the second part of the name is coming from the acid we have two carbons on the acid so that will be propyl ethanoid ethanoid Right. That's how you name an ester. So if we had three carbons for the acid, it will be propyl, uh, propanoid. And then if we had uh, four carbons for the alcohol, for instance, it will be butyl ethanoid. So that's how you name an ester. Uh, let's move forward and do 4.1.5. So 4.1.5 say that, uh, let's write down the IUPAC name of a straight chain functional isomer of compound R. So the functional isomer of an ester is an organic acid, right? The functional isomer of an ester is an organic acid. So the functional isomer of this ester will be a carboxylic acid, right? So now we just need to know uh, the number of carbons on the ester. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we have five carbons on the ester. So we need an organic acid with five carbons so that will be pentanoic pentanoic um acid right uh, the question says that um 
the we need a string chain the question says that we need a straight chain functional isomer so that's why i can choose something like two methyl butanoic acid it has to be straight chain so that's why i'm going with a pentanoic acid right let's move to 4.1.6 we're now uh, paying attention to reaction two so the first question is saying let's write on the type of reaction taking place so in reaction two we start uh, with alcohol right which is a saturated compound and then our product is a halo alkane which is again a saturated compound and if that is the case then the reaction taking place is substitution right uh, substitution yeah because nothing has been added nothing has been eliminated uh, our reaction is substitution right we're just taking something out and replacing it with uh, something else and then 4.1.7 so just to wrap up 4.1.6 every time if you start with a saturated compound and you end with another saturated compound the reaction that took place is substitution right 4.1.7 uh, formula of the inorganic product uh, that is formed when that uh, reaction takes place right so we had an alcohol and then our product is now a halo alkane so the oh has been eliminated from the alcohol right and then cl has been uh, substituted in right but then uh we add in hcl so now we have h2o as our inorganic product right so 4.1.7 the formula of the inorganic compound is h Two O, and uh, let's move to and four point one point eight. The question is saying, so let's write down the condensed structural formula of compound P. Right. So compound P is a halo alkene. We just replace OH with CL. So we suppose we have some like CH three, CH two, CH two, CL. Right. If we write in uh, the structural the condensed structural formula for the alcohol we would have oh at the end but then now because we have substituted it with cl we have in cl at the end right and uh that's 4.1.8 let's move to uh 4.2 so 4.2 we have um 4.2.1 which is saying that let's write down the formula of reagent uh, P. So let's you know read through our question statement and see what is happening here. So a primary alcohol that contains three carbon atoms is converted to a secondary alcohol in a two-step process as shown in the diagram below. Right, P is an inorganic reagent, while compound Q is an organic compound. And then 4.2.1, the formula of reagent P. So we need to understand what is happening first before we call have an idea of what reagent p could possibly be so we have a primary alcohol right we want to turn it into a secondary alcohol so how do we do that we eliminate the oh so that we can have a double bond right and then after having an alkene the right uh, if we have a double bond we have an alkene then we're going to add h2o and then the oh is going to go to the carbon in the middle right and then the hydrogen is going to go to the carbon at the end so what we have at the start is a primary alcohol and then compound p is an alkene and then we have our secondary alcohol uh, lastly right so what is the formula of reagent p so we need to look at step one step one is an elimination reaction right is dehydration to be specific we are eliminating h2o right and then the reagent needed for that is concentrated h2so4 so we need concentrated h2so4 for dehydration uh, to take place right and then 4.2.2 says one reaction condition for the reaction in step two so step two would be hydration right because we're moving from an alkene to an alcohol so for hydration to take place we need h2o 
in excess right we need h2o in excess for hydration to take place and lastly uh, 4.2.3 the question is saying that let's write down a balance equation for the reaction in step 2 by using structural formula for the inorganic uh, for the organic compounds right so we say that we have one two three we have uh, a what what do we call this we have an alkene right and then to this alkene we add in H2O, so we're gonna C plus H2O, right? And then our product will then be a second add alcohol, so we have one, two, three, and then we're gonna have OH here on the second carbon, and then we're gonna have hydrogens um, elsewhere, right? So this is uh, what our reaction looks like in terms of uh, structural formula.